Team India always had those big name, a game changing, a world conquering top order batsman. And when we come to the middle order, in last few decade or actually last decade, there are only a few names who stood up and were the real game changer. Names like MS Dhoni, Yuvra Singh are the only name that pop up when we talk about the middle over in last decade. However, there is one player who is not talked about enough and has been ignored in topic when we talk about the goats of middle order. A player who played a crucial innings when India needed it most. Now most of us remember the inning Yura Singh played against mighty Aussies in 2011 World Cup. But do you remember this guy played a 34 run not out inning? Had he been not there, the team would have exposed his tail end against the Kangaroos. And who can forget his 36 run against Pakistan in 2011 World Cup semi-finals? The inning was so important as India completely lost its momentum and were in danger danger of getting bowled out within next 50 overs, this man took the score to 260 and in the end of the inning played a vital role as India managed to defeat the arc rival by 29 runs. Now just imagine India losing to Pakistan in 2011 World Cup semi-final. His 81 run not out against England helped India to chase the score of 227 when India was struggling against the visitor at 92 for 5. He batted with the confidence and proved himself as a match winner. The match savior inning of 110 runs not out by him and a partnership with MSD against Zimbabwe in Cricket World Cup 2015 helped India to register a 6 wicket win over the opposition and it was a great partnership. This man came to the field when India was struggling at 71 for 3 and scored a century with a strike rate of more than 100. This guy is a team player. He he has that immense energy in the field and wherever he may be, he will always come to congratulate or pat on the shoulders whenever a player takes a wicket, a catch or display a brilliancy in building. Almost every one of us must have seen this image of him celebrating Kohli's century before Kohli himself. And I remember this scene actually as a live because I was watching on TV and I thought, man, this guy is something special. And ladies and gentlemen, he is none other than Suresh Kumar Raina. And before moving forward, I would request you to like this video only if you are enjoying. If you are not enjoying, you can always dislike or leave. Okay. And if you like, by giving a subscribe to Ashflix would mean a world to me. Thank you. So Suresh Raina entered the game at very young age and played a lot of age group cricket and was selected to play for Ranji team Uttar Pradesh at teenage age of 16 and made his ODI debut at age 19 in 2005 and 5 years later in 2010 he made his test debut against Sri Lanka by scoring a century on debut. He didn't find much success in test cricket but Suresh Raina was one of the finest middle order batsmen in ODI right through his career. He had that ability to stabilize the inning as well as play the big shots from ball 1. He also provided that extra bowling option and contributed immensely on the field. He is easily been the one of the best modern day fielder. I guess after Mohammad Cape this could be the biggest example of this generation. And as mentioned in earlier he played number of impactful innings especially in the World Cups. And to talk about it again, he also played a superb knock of 74 of just 56 ball against Pakistan in the first match of 2015 World Cup. The same match where Kohli he celebrated the century before Kohli. While Virat Kohli's century got all the praises, it was actually Suresh Raina's knock which gave momentum to the inning. Now I don't want to compare anything here, it's just the statement, so just take it as a statement. While he was extremely successful in ODS, it was the T20 format, especially the IPL where Suresh Rana is regarded as nothing less than the legend, the Mr. IPL. Suresh Rana has almost outscored every batsman when it comes to the important games and the playoffs. He has easily been the most consistent batsman in IPL and his inning that he played of 87 of 25 balls in the playoff against 
Kings XI Punjab is perhaps the most breathtaking inning by any Indian player in IPL history but it was his international career in last 5 years where he went downhill. After being a permanent member in the limited over setup for Team India, Raina lost his place in ODI team in 2015 after a run of poor form, making a comeback in 2018 to play a couple of games only to be dropped and never be picked again and he announced his retirement followed by MS Dhoni in 2020 August 15. And as we know that Raina hasn't been picked by any franchise for IPL 2022, it's a sad thing but I know Raina will make a strong comeback next year. It doesn't matter what people say, what matters is what your inner self says. This could be the kickstart Raina needed to restart his career. And at the end of the day, Suresh Raina was the perfect team player, a player who would keep the team in high spirit. He was the first one to run towards the baller when he takes a wicket to celebrate. He would also be the one giving the mightiest applause from the dugout to the batsman who scored a century. Raina was never hungry for the limelight. He celebrated other success as if they were his own. And that is perhaps the most important quality to look for in a player playing team sports and even as a human being. He was the glue who kept the team he played together. And that is why Raina will be remembered in Indian cricket as perhaps the most selfless player. And I know there are few people who will not agree with me but that's just my opinion. And if you like the video then please make sure to share this one and I hope Suresh Raina sir watches this video and yeah comments. Okay so if you are new to this channel, hey I'm Yash. I make cricket and wrestling storytelling videos on this channel, yes. And if you wanna know how did IPL begin, make sure to watch my next video which will come next week. Bye bye.